Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Boxing Reviews Now 2, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the Miley MagSafe Bluetooth speaker and phone stand. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at uh, what seems to be the world's first MagSafe compatible MFI certified Bluetooth speaker for your mobile phones. Now this is compatible with uh, any mobile phone at all. Doesn't necessarily have to be an iPhone 12 supporting MagSafe. This is just an iPhone XR. They do include some magnetic rings in the packaging, so you can just use that to connect to. You can then use this as a phone holder, or you can use it as a phone stand, or of course you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker for when you're watching your movies, all that kind of stuff. Another cool thing that this actually has up its sleeve is the fact that because it is essentially a magnetic base, you can put it anywhere. So say for instance, you're in the kitchen working, then you can stick it on something metal like your refrigerator, cooker, that kind of thing, and listen to your music without having your phone out, maybe slip your phone in your pocket and still listen to your tunes. Pretty awesome. So we're gonna go through and do a quick unboxing, see what we actually get in the packaging, go through the specifications, do some practical tests, see how loud it actually is, and see what the sound quality is like. So, let's get into it. So first of all, let's go and take a look at the packaging, see what we actually get. So this is the HD M12. I think this from uh, Miele, or Miley, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that. You see, magnetic absorption Bluetooth speaker. As it says there, you've got a picture of a magnet. Also, it supports Bluetooth 5.0 with enhanced data rate as well, so you get that much better sound quality. And also, it supports stereo sound speakers. So what you can do is actually you can purchase two of these and actually if you do purchase two, you get a significant discount, which uh, you'll be seeing from the links in the video description below. So essentially you can use two of these, wireless stereo, have two of them and enjoy that really rich sound. So again, if you're using it maybe in the kitchen or just watching movies, you can have that really nice stereo separation. On the back of the box it goes into some of the specifications. So this is the max time mate, input is five volts, one amp. It charges on a USB type C, which is included in the box. You can charge the device up in around about one and a half hours from completely flat, and this will give you up to eight hours of playback time at around about 50% volume. Obviously, depending on your volume levels, your uh, mileage will vary. The battery itself has a capacity of 420 milliamp hours and also is rated at three watts, which in the grand scheme of things doesn't seem like a great deal, but you do find that some USB powered speakers for desktop PCs often don't reach more than that anyway, so this should be pretty decent. I should just mention as well, it is available in three distinct colours. So we've got the red, we've got the yellow, and we've got the crisp alpine white. And you can buy them in separate combinations. So you can have the white, the yellow, or the red, or you can have white and red, yellow and red, or hell, go for all three if you want to. Again, links will be in the video description. So anyway, that's enough of that. Let's uh, take a look and see what we actually get in the packaging. Now, I have actually opened this already and I've been testing these for about a week now just to see if they're actually uh, worthy of the viewers. And, uh, well, the fact that I'm actually doing this video means that, well, they definitely are. So looking in the packaging, first of all, in the base of the packaging, we've got a couple of things here. So first of all is contact details about the actual company itself and a little information about them and also a cute little picture of the person who did the quality control. Thanks very much. Another cute little thing we get inside is this little installation guide or user manual. So this folds out and will give you all the information you need on how to pair the device, how to pair multiple devices, how it charges, troubleshooting and all those kinds of things. Again, very simple, but you may need your glasses on for this one. The print is a little bit on the small side. Next up is the included USB type C to USB type A connection. And the cable itself isn't particularly long, so uh, you may have to consider this when you're putting it on your desk or something like that. Although really, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. I've actually got one there on the side of the desk plugged into the socket down on the floor, so it's relatively easy to charge a device. Obviously, you can use any USB type C charging device. You don't have to use this cable if you don't want to. You can use your own cables or maybe a USB type C to type C. Again, pretty universal these days. Also included is the speaker itself, and as you can see, already attached on the bottom, you do actually get included two metal rings. Now these are obviously, if your phone doesn't have uh, the MagSafe feature built in, 
say for instance you're using it on an Android or like me, an older iPhone, you can just stick this magnetic ring on the back of the phone or maybe you can stick it onto a non-magnetic surface. So if you wanted to have it wall mounted, you could quite easily stick it on the wall. There is 3M tape included on the back, so literally just peel that off, stick it where you want it to and you're ready to go. And last of all, we have the speaker itself. Now obviously you've seen the other one, we've got the yellow one there and this is the red version. So looking at the speaker itself, Actually pretty lightweight, only about 80 grams or so, I think. Not a great deal more than that. On the top, you've got this really nice mesh grill, which covers up the multi-function speaker. On the front, there is a LED and a power button. So the LED is multi-function. So when the device is actually pairing, it flashes, etc. When the battery is charging, it's red. And when it's fully charged, it extinguishes, basically. Yeah, usual kind of deal. Press and hold the button for about two seconds, and it will turn itself on. Bluetooth mode. And there you go. You get it come on saying Bluetooth mode. And when it's flashing, that means it's in pairing mode. So at this point, you can either pair it directly to your Android or well, any Bluetooth device, as long as it's in pairing mode, and it will pair quite happily. If you want to pair two of them together, all you have to do is to double press the button on the front. Pairing. And it goes into pairing mode, and then it can pair with the other speaker. So giving you that stereo sound. On the bottom, you've got a rubberized kind of mount there as well to help protect any devices it's actually touching against and it gives you some of the specifications. And on the back of the device there is a little rubber plug there to stop debris and water and things like that getting in. And there is the USB Type-C charging jack. Dimensions of the speaker, I mean, not very big. I'll put it on the screen now so you can see exactly what the dimensions are. But I think the best thing to do now is to test it and see actually how good it is. Okay, so we've got the phone turned on now, and we'll turn the yellow speaker on, so press and hold for a couple of seconds. Bluetooth mode. And it seems to be connected. Connected. Yep, there we go, it says on there, Mag Soundmate is connected, so we're ready to start playing some music. So if you've got music on your phone already, really simple, all you need to do is just press the button on the front and it'll start playing. You've all heard this song before. So if you want to pause it, just press the button again, or of course you can control it all as you would normally with Bluetooth devices straight from the phone itself. So let's see how loud this can actually get with a single speaker. actually pretty loud considering it's a very very small speaker and let's turn the uh, the volume down although I don't think it's registered so I'll just pause that so let's turn on the other speaker now press and hold for two seconds again as we did before until we get the light come on and there we go because I paired them before previously to each other they've automatically repaired so now I've got both of them so I can have stereo sound so if I press play on either one it should start playing So that is about 50% volume. That's a really, really nice sound quality. Let's pause that a second so you can actually hear what I'm saying. So yeah, the sound quality, as far as I'm concerned, is actually top notch. It does sound very, very good, very crisp, very clear. The bass comes through uh, pretty decently, considering, again, the diminutive size of these tiny little speakers. The stereo sound improves it immensely, it really does. So I would definitely think about investing in two if you're maybe using these at home or maybe at your workstation, or whatever. If you're just using it going around and maybe you wanna have it, using it at night time for a bed stand, that sort of thing, again, one's gonna be absolutely fine, but you are gonna get a much better bargain if you buy two. And Mike's and Boxing, well, we're all about bargains, aren't we? So what's not to like? So some of you are probably wondering, well, that's fine using it like that, that's great. Obviously, you can use it to actually hold the device as well, so you can do that. You can still hear it as well pretty pretty easily. But can you use it in portrait mode? Um, yes, you can. It does hold the phone. There's a, a very slight wobble to it, but not a great deal. Obviously, depending on your positioning of the MagSafe and also the metal ring, that may affect it. But in this particular setup, you can actually watch things like TikTok or other stuff, which is predominantly uh, portrait-based aspect ratio. Uh, maybe if you're having a FaceTime call, that kind of thing, and you don't want to hold the phone, you want to 
do things, walk around. It's much better than having it on a flat surface where the uh, camera is just going to be looking up at the ceiling. Yeah, this works really well in my opinion. So, yeah, I think it's got pretty much everything that you'd need. The only thing I would possibly have liked to have seen from this was possibly a built-in microphone so you could use it actually as a two-way Bluetooth device. These are purely speakers. There isn't a microphone built in so you can't use it for two-way communications. But I guess that would be more for if you're using this maybe stuck in a kitchen somewhere and you've got the phone in your pocket. It would be nice to be able to answer a call. You can, of course, answer telephone calls with the device. So if this is playing, maybe you've got it like this. You can press the button to answer or reject telephone calls as you do with most Bluetooth devices. So, yeah, it would have been nice if you could, if you were working in the kitchen, get your phone in your pocket, the phone rings. It would be quite nice to be able to press the button and actually have a two-way conversation using the speaker. But I don't believe that is the case. So what do I think in summary? Sound quality is excellent. I love the functionality. I love the whole MagSafe thing. Uh, it'd be nice to get an iPhone 12 just to try and test it out without having to stick on the, uh, the ring on the back there. But certainly it works very well. The, the magnet is actually pretty strong. It's not overly strong, but it certainly, once it's in place, it doesn't feel like it wants to move anywhere. And as you can see, I'm shaking it there. It doesn't seem to want to slip or fall off. So yeah works pretty well. So I will be putting some uh, links in the video description so you can check this out. It's not affiliated or anything. We don't have any commission. So if you want to check it out, please do. Uh, all this type of stuff helps support the people that support the channel. So yeah, please do give them a visit. If you've got any comments or questions, please do put them in the comment section below. And if I can answer them myself, I will pass them on to the manufacturer and hopefully get you an answer as soon as possible. And obviously, don't forget if uh, you do like these, but you don't want them in these particular colors, they do come in the white color as well. And potentially there is more colors coming as the uh, the product gains more popularity, which I'm pretty sure it will do. So this has been the Miley MagSafe speaker. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.